people of the internet, welcome to another FNAF movie news video. Believe it or not, the second FNAF movie begins filming in just two weeks. And of course, as we inch closer and closer to the beginning of filming, of course, we're going to get more and more news. And so for today's video, a few actors have already done interviews about returning for the second film, as well as some more details on the movie itself when they're scheduled to start shooting their scenes. So if you're excited for the second FNAF movie hitting theaters on December the 5th of 2020, Five, scroll down tickle that subscribe button now recently we did a whole dedicated video going over all of the details for the second and even third FNAF film because believe it or not we've gotten reports that Blumhouse and Universal are already starting production on FNAF 3 now this production is very likely early script stages I doubt they're actually starting like building the animatronics and the sets and casting for the film. We've heard in the past that Lillard, who plays William Afton, has signed a three-picture deal for three films. And with the massive success of the first film, as well as very likely the massive success of the upcoming second movie, it's no wonder why they want to get a head start on film three. But anyways, in that video, we talked about all of the details we have about the second film. So very quickly, let me go through all of that, just so we're all on the same page. Like I said, the film releases on the 5th of December, 2025. Emma Tammy is returning as director, Josh Hutcherson, Matthew Lillard, Elizabeth Lale, and Piper Rubio, they're all returning. For other cast members, the news has actually been very dead, though we have gotten reports that a new major male role is being considered for the movie, with many people theorizing this could be for Henry Emily. Jeremy Fitzgerald, the night guard in the second FNAF game, has also been rumored. Going back to some confirmed news, we know the tagline for the second film is anyone can survive five nights. This time, there will be no second chances, and this has led a a lot of fans to speculate that some major character is going to die by the end of the movie. I'd love to know who do you think is going to bite the bullet. And then of course, probably the biggest news we've gotten for the second film is all of the anniversary teasers and images we got, with the Scott Games Twitter account tweeting out some behind the scenes construction for the toy and even withered animatronics. This of course was for the big 10th anniversary of Five Nights at Freddy's and what a way to celebrate. And they also posted some screenplays for the movie, however, only one of the pages was real, with the other three pages being completely fake, I'd love to know which one do you think is real. And then finally, for some recaps, we've gotten some concept art for the withered animatronics. And much like the behind the scenes construction teasers, these guys look like they're pulled just right out of the game. They look so, so good. There's a few other details that I want to touch upon, but first off, let's take a look at some of the brand new interviews we've gotten with some of the FNAF 2 actors. Starting off with Josh Hutcherson, of course, our Mike Schmidt. In a recent interview with Esquire, they write in about three weeks. Weeks, Hutcherson will be in New Orleans to film Five Nights at Freddy's 2, which is set to release in 2025. He's stepping back into the shoes of Mike, the security guard who discovers the abandoned pizzeria setting of his new job isn't quite as abandoned as it seems. The shoot is a long one, stretching from the end of October to the end of January, and everything is more amped up than it was the first time around. We got reports from Louisiana itself that the film was operating under the working title Music Box, of course teasing the puppet in the second FNAF film, and also that shooting was taking place from the 28th of October through the 31st of January. October being the first month of filming was confirmed by Collider, Matthew Lillard, even Scott Cawthon, as we're going to see in a second, but it's good to know that October 28th through the 31st of January, that is locked in, that is confirmed. It's much bigger. The stakes are higher, Josh Hutcherson says. There's more animatronics being brought in, different animatronics being brought in, and the world just opens up in a big way. We're finding the balance right now of building this world and expanding it in a really cool way, but also making sure the characters stay really grounded. That's something that I really think we all fought for in the first film, because this world that was created in FNAF, it's so out there, it's so over the top and wacky, in a way that to find the emotional truth of the characters was going to be what was going to work. I think the fans are going to flip for it. It's going to be a lot of fun with the source. It's going to be scarier too, actually. So some very fascinating details revealed from Hutcherson right there. Of course, it's bigger. The stakes are higher. Probably someone's going to die by the end, as we found out from the tagline. There's more animatronics. Of course, in the first FNAF film, there's only, what, five? Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, Golden Freddy. If you want to count, like, Ella and Sparky, they're there too. 
But in FNAF 2, you've got all of the toys, you've got the withers, you've probably got the puppet in there as well, as well as some other secret Easter egg characters like Ella or like Sparky in the first film. He also talked about the world of FNAF opening up in the sequel film, the emotional support of the characters. That's something we're going to touch upon a bit more with Matthew Lillard's interviews. And then of course, it's going to be scarier. That was a major complaint and criticism of the first film. We've heard that they're trying to make it scarier, and I really do think it will be scarier, especially with the Withers, especially with Mangle. Esquire then asked Hutcherson about returning as Mike after this second film, with Josh responding with, you never know. I mean, I love working in this world. Emma Tammy, our director, is phenomenal. And with my character, Mike, I think the possibilities are endless. This could have a very potentially long run, and it could be a lot of fun. But at this point, we're focusing on the second movie. We'll see what comes after that. I've said this in the past, but I firmly believe FNAF 3 will not be the end of FNAF movies. And I think very likely, Mike will be returning past FNAF 2, past FNAF 3 in future films. Of course, it's completely Josh's call, but I would love to see him keep working with this franchise. And actually, speaking of someone who wants to constantly return in FNAF films, let's now move on to the interviews with Matthew Lillard. And in this new interview with Forbes, they asked Matthew Matthew if he could reveal anything about FNAF 2. He replied with, not much to be honest. I will say that I think the filmmakers have done a great job of learning from the first movie of what fans want. It's going to be more exciting and I think it's going to have more action. It's going to have a lot of character development stuff. It's hard to kiss around. I think the story ends and this movie ends in a really exciting way. So some more praise all around from Lillard about the second film. Of course he couldn't reveal too much about it because it's, you know, not begun filming yet. You wouldn't want to spoil too much, so he kind of reiterates of what we already know. The filmmakers learned a lot from the first movie. They're going to give fans more of what they want. More action actually surprised me. I'm very excited to see what that offers. Some more character development stuff. I'd assume that's going to be flashbacks or more backstory about Afton. And then of course the movie ends in a really exciting way, probably to tease the third and final movie in this original trilogy. Like I said, I'd assume there's going to be more movies after this, but the setup for the the big third movie. That's gonna be exciting. And then in this interview, they did also say one thing that the Hackers actor confirmed was that, like the first film, the sequel would be PG-13 rather than rated R. We've heard reports about that in the past that it will be PG-13, though they're still trying to make it a bit scarier. So I'm honestly not surprised at all by this news, but it is nice to have it confirmed by an actor, you know, someone involved with the film. Matthew also recently had an interview with Collider where he says, so this morning I got a text with my filming dates. So my dates are the beginning of November and then another series of dates. So we're going to work. I'm really thrilled. I think the script's fantastic. Some more praise. Once again, the script is fantastic. He's thrilled. You know, they're getting to work on this movie. We know that filming begins at the end of October. Again, the 28th of October. It seems like Matthew's starting just a wee bit later, the beginning of November, and then he's got another series of dates. So it seems that if he has two sets of dates, Likely, we're gonna get a lot more Afton in this movie. I'd assume one set of filming dates is for what Afton's getting up to right now, you know, current timeline. And then the other set of dates will probably be for flashbacks. We just saw him talk about more character development, more emotional backstories, so hopefully we can get that with Afton. He goes on to say that Emma Tammy's great, she's really lovely, and also Josh Hutcherson, he's great as well. In fact, the whole cast is great. I think we're all excited to come back. I think we learned a lot in the first film, and I think the second film is going to sort of benefit from those things. We're all excited about where the movie's at right now. That actually brings us up to speed on all of the current details we have on the second FNAF movie. Like we've talked about plenty, filming begins in just two weeks pretty soon on the 28th of October. That then ends on the 31st of January and then they've got the entire rest of the year to work on post-production until the movie releases on the 5th of December. Very soon we should expect to see some photos of the filming process. With Scott Cawthon recently commenting saying I'll be sure to get pictures of the filming and share it with everyone. Very excited to share more. And then very lastly, if you want to win a trip to the premiere of the second movie because they're already promoting the premiere, Blumhouse is currently hosting a sweepstake for a trip to the FNAF 2 premiere. I'll of course leave the link to that in the description. This also gave us our first look at the logo for FNAF 2. We've already taken a look at this. Of course, it's just Five Nights at Freddy's with a two slept on the end. But that brings us to the end of FNAF movie news. I'd love to know what do you most 
excited to see in the second FNAF movie. What are your thoughts on all the brand new details revealed? Filming begins super, super soon, so get excited. Thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.